What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Derek and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up Streamlabs alerts on your live stream. If you're looking at setting up stream elements, there is a video on this channel showing you guys how to do that as well. But this specific video is showing you guys how to do Streamlab alerts, how to set them up on your live stream, as well as how to customize them. That way you can get custom alerts as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and roll the intro and then jump right into it. All right, guys, so as you guys can see, I have Streamlabs OBS opened up and I don't personally use Streamlabs OBS. I personally use OBS Studio. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this inside of Streamlabs OBS. How I do this in Streamlabs OBS is the exact same way that you will do this inside of OBS Studio. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna head over to streamlabs.com. And when you get here, we're gonna wanna click on this dashboard in the top of the screen. If it's your first time logging in, you're gonna have to make an account, you're gonna have to connect your Twitch account, YouTube account, Facebook account, whatever it is that you're using, you're gonna have to connect it to Streamlabs and then you're gonna log in and you're gonna have your dashboard which will show you like your last couple streams with your peak viewers, your average viewers, all of that stuff. And then, but down here under the essentials on the left, you're gonna see alert box. This is what's gonna give you all of the different alerts for your stream. You know, you follow alerts, when somebody subs, and this is specifically for Twitch, I'm logged into my Twitch. If you're using YouTube or whatever, it might look a little bit different, but this is specifically for Twitch. So it's gonna show your follow alerts, when somebody subs, when somebody resubs, if they give a donation, if you get a host or a raid, but whatever it is, it's going to be basically this alert box is all of your different alerts. And so in order to add it into OBS, it's actually really easy. All you're gonna do is right here, you're gonna have a widget URL. It's gonna be kind of hidden like you see here and it's gonna say click the copy widget URL. You're gonna click that, you're gonna click copy. As you can see, it says here, URL contains sensitive information. It should not be shared with other users or sites. And then we're gonna to wanna to add a source. So it's gonna look a little bit different inside of OBS Studio, but we're gonna to wanna to add a browser source. So we're gonna click here on browser source. In OBS, you're just gonna get like a list of uh, you know options when you click this, it's just gonna be a list. But you're gonna see browser source in that list. You're gonna click that, you're gonna click add source, and then you can give it a name, we'll call it alerts. And you can even get more specific in case you wanna set up alerts for multiple different sites. So we can do Twitch alerts. And then here is the in the URL is where you're gonna to wanna to put that URL that you get from Streamlabs that we just copied from this box right here. So once we copy that in, we're gonna put in our width and our height. If we're doing a 1080p stream, we're gonna wanna do 1920 by 1080. If you're doing a 1440p or a 4K stream, you're gonna to wanna to adjust that to that. You can do a custom frame rate if you want. I'm just gonna leave it to be the same. Shutdown source when not visible. I like to have that checked inside OBS Studio. I would check that as well. And then we're just gonna hit close and boom, it is added inside of OBS Studio. Again, we're using Streamlabs OES, but same way. And how do we know it's working? Well, we can simply click one of these test buttons. So if we click the test follow button, it's gonna send a little thing, boom. You can see here, OMG, it's Derek TV is now following. We heard the little notification sound. We see the little animation, all of that. We could test a raid, for example, so test raids. OMG, it's Derek is raiding with a party of 1,083. You wish I was raiding you with that number, don't you? <laughs> Hell yeah. But it's that easy. That's how you set them up inside. You just add a browser source, you put in the URL, you change it to the resolution that you're doing, and boom, you're ready to go. Now, as you can see, that takes up the entire screen. So if you want to adjust it, all you need to do is do a test. You can make it smaller. You can move it to wherever you want to put it, blah, blah, blah. You know, pretty easy to do. I normally do smaller and I put it like in the top middle. Some people might want it in the middle middle, which if you don't know, transform you can uh center on screen like that and boom now you're in the middle and so now how do you actually set up your alerts you do that inside this same page inside your dashboard that we see here let me switch sides here and so you can see here you have your layout which is image with text or you can choose the text over the image so if we do that and hit save changes so now if i hit the test follow there we go. Now you can see the text is over the image or you can click here. We'll save that. Save it one more time. You can have your text to 
the right of your image. So it depends on however you want to set it up is up to you. But in order to change it, you have these different tabs here. General settings, follow, subs, donos, host, bits, rage, merch, blah, blah, blah. Your general settings is obviously going to affect everything. So you can do profanity filters, custom bad words that you can blacklist, etc., etc. Your background color, if you do a background color, all of that. Not really a lot that you're probably going to change in here. Where you're mostly going to want to change things is under here, like the individual things. So follows. So when we go here, you can see, let me change this back to normal. So the default is that the image appears on top, the text appears below. But then if we go to, for example, our follows, you see follow alerts. Do you want those enabled or disabled? So if you don't want certain alerts to come through, like maybe you want to use Streamlabs for your follows, subs, resubs, posts, and raids, but you don't want to use them for your donos. Maybe you want to use Stream Elements for your donations. You can do that by just disabling the donations ones in Streamlabs and then adding the stream alerts one and doing donations through there and disabling the other ones through there. So anyways, under the follows, you have the enable, disable, you have your layout so you can individually have the text and image uh, different for each individual site or whatever. You can also choose the alert animation of how it comes in. You can do like a fade in. For example, if we hit the test follow, you see there's the fade in. We could do, for example, maybe let's do a bounce in. Let me save this just to show you. So we do a bounce in. If we hit test follow now, you can see it kind of like bounced. So you can do anything you want there. You know, you got some different ones. We'll leave it at fade in and out, but that's how you, you know, change all of that. You can also change your message template. So instead of now following, you can put somebody's name is now, you know, part of the alpha squad. Like if you're LOL Tyler one, for example, text animation, again, that's just what your text does. When you hit that again, test follow, you can see that the OMG it's Derek is kind of doing like this little wiggle thing. That's how you do that. Here is where you change your image and your sound. So you can link your image or you can select it here and upload it. They do have a stock that you can use, Alien, Avocado, you can see them all here. You can also link to an image or you can upload your own, all of that stuff. But that's how you do it right through here, your image. And then same with your sound. You know, there's a stock that has some sounds and stuff built into Streamlabs or you can upload your own, or you can link to one using the link audio here, which is, you know, you put in the URL. You can also choose the volume that you want it to come through. So you can crank that bad boy up to 100%. You can have it come through at 50% volume. That's entirely up to you. You can play around with that and see where you like it. Alert duration, that's how long it's gonna last. You'll need to set that to like the GIF or video that you're using or whatever. You know, you might need to adjust that. Eight seconds is the default. So if it's a GIF that's just doing something like this running zombie, obviously eight seconds is probably enough because it's just a repeat in a loop in GIF of him running. You can do alert text delay. Uh, what this does is how long it takes for the text to appear after the image. So if we hit the two seconds here, for example, under the alert text delay, and then we hit test follow, you'll see the image appears. And then after two seconds, the text appears and the entire thing lasts for eight seconds. Here you can enable custom HTML, CSS. That's not really something you should have to do. Open font settings. That's how you change the font of the text that appears down there. You can choose, you know, out of all of these different fonts that they have. You can also change the color. You can also change the text highlight color, which is like their username or whatever. All that here. Open alert variations. So you can add a variation with default settings. For example, the condition for, for follows is just randomly. You can like set up like five or six and it can show different images and different text effects and everything. And you could like set up a bunch of these and have them random for follows. Now this is the same for everything else. Subscriptions, bits, raids, hosts, donations. The one thing I will point out that might be a little different is under donations, the alert variations. The nice thing about that is you can add a variation. Like for example, let's say somebody donates $4.20. You could use this donation amount is exactly $4.20. So you can set $4.20. And 20 here and if they do that then you know maybe like a certain special image so you can set that up in here custom all of those different if it's the largest in this stream so far then you have one like you know like oh this person took over the largest dono for the stream whatever the case may be that's how you adjust it all in here but that is how in streamlabs obs you set up your alerts using that url and that is how you change the alerts and make them custom is by using each of these different tabs and setting those options. And like I said, specifically, if you wanna do like different dono amounts like people do, 
those are the alert variations but you can also do alert variations for everything else so for example in subscriptions it could be like if they've been subbed for at least so many months or exactly so many months so like people will do like if they've subbed for exactly nine months people use like a baby gift like you know oh we're having a baby you've heard like people do that you know if they've done like at least a year you can have a special one all of that so really really cool there all right, and that is how you do it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, make sure you smash that like button, get subscribed by hitting the red subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out, everybody. Later, nerds.